Hi, Dr. Bob, Pat Corso, your only other Chicago White Sox baseball fan. When I first heard of your uh, retirement, uh, I call on that uh, White Sox history. Uh, when the kids said the shoeless Joe Jackson, say it ain't so, Joe. And I can, <laughs> that really is the way I feel. Uh, your legacy is, is unsurpassed uh, as the superintendent of schools here in Moore County, and I've seen five of them. Uh, so I just am so proud to have known you, to have worked with you, and uh, as, you, as you retire and go off to the next things in life, I want you to know that we are truly, truly grateful and appreciate all that you did for the kids of Moore County. Dr. Bob, as, as you're leaving um, Moore County Schools, I want you to know that educators like myself will forever remember that what is most important is to write on the hearts and the minds of our students all that is important, that they matter, that their voice matters, and that it is our utmost privilege and honor to help build their confidence as they become the new leaders of tomorrow. Thank you, Dr. Bob. It was nice having lunch with you. Congratulations on your retirement, Dr. Bob. Bye. Thank you for being your own man. Thank you for taking part in our community activities, for coming to our programs and activities, participating in our walks and in the parades. Thank you so much for what you have brought to our community. Dr. Grimacy, thank you for a job well done and for your service to Moore County School System. It has been such a pleasure for me to have worked with you and to get to know you on a personal level. You have shown me a personal compassion and empathy, especially during the loss of my little grandson, my brother, and my mom. During those difficult times, I will never forget the times when you would call me just to listen to me and then offer encouraging words. Congratulations on your retirement. I pray and hope you, are, you enjoy your new journey of retirement and get into to see those little grandchildren more often. Blessings to you and your family. Dr. Bob, it's appropriate that we're recording this in this room where you and I spent countless hours helping the kids of Moore County Schools. I just want to thank you for your passion for the kids. I want to thank you for your perseverance. I want to thank you for your diplomacy. Most of all, I'd like to thank you for your friendship. I wish you all the best in this next chapter. Best of luck, my friend. Dr. 
Bob. On behalf of the ESL team, we just want to congratulate you and wish you an awesome retirement. Thank you for all of your hard work, your dedication, your commitment, and we just want to say well done. Enjoy retirement. My name is Reese Blevins. I'm an eighth grader at New Century Middle School. I'm a member of the Student Advisory Council. I'm grateful that Dr. Bob Grimacy allowed this opportunity for me and other students across the county. Being able to voice my opinion about school issues is important to me. It is more important that we have felt heard and taken into consideration. Thanks, Dr. Bob, for making a difference in our community and our school system. You will be missed. Dr. Bob, uh, this is George. Uh, enjoyed working with you. We've had some good days uh, and we've accomplished a lot. I really appreciate the support you've given uh, the college and uh, the college has given you a lot of support back. So uh, I've really enjoyed working with you uh, and uh, just have an enjoyable retirement. You deserve it. Well, Dr. Bob, it looks like the time is finally here for us to say goodbye. I surely have enjoyed serving alongside you and wish you well as you enter retirement. Enjoy your children and grandchildren and make the most of every moment. Hey, Dr. Bob, of course it's me, Fallon Royington with Boys and Girls Club of the St. Louis. And I just want to tell you that we are definitely going to miss you. I personally am going to miss you because you have been that silent motivator for me. You know, when we were both going through rough patches or going through rough times, we would send emails and kind of encourage each other that no one ever knew about. And that kind of got me through and I appreciate you. I also appreciate you because you ensured that our kids were our kids. They were our kids, whether they were leaving your school doors, entering my bus or leaving my club, coming to your school. You know, they're our kids and it didn't change and you were always a supporter of Boys and Girls Club of the St. Louis. Thank you for believing in our teams, challenging us, pushing us, and for trusting our leadership as we all work together to do what's best for children. May you never forget the lasting impression that you have made on all of our lives, not just our students. At the end of the day, I just want to thank you for loving children. Enjoy retirement, know how jealous we are, and how much we truly appreciate your service. Hi, I'm Sarah Adams and I'm a senior at Union Pines. I would like to say a big thank you to Dr. Bob for all the things you have done for us students at Union Pines. Thank you for supporting us throughout our educational journey these past years and we wish you the best of luck in your retirement.
I just want to thank you for your part, your administration here, coming to us from the schools in Virginia. I hope you have lots of pleasant memories. Thank you, Robert, for all you have meant, not just to Sand Hills Community College, uh, but frankly, Bob, all you have meant to me. You are an absolute pleasure to work with and to have not only as a colleague, but a friend. Uh, anybody who can bring the White Sox and the Packers both back from death's door during the course of your tenure here has got to be recognized as a leader with uh, almost supernatural powers. and. Uh, you have put those supernatural powers to work in many ways, all for the benefit of the young people and the future of this community. So Bob, thanks very much for everything that you have done and uh, all the best. Dr. Grimacy, I just want to thank you so much for all you have done for Moore County Schools and specifically for all the students that you have touched. Most people will think about your success as the school buildings or the achievement scores of our students, how they've increased over time, or even some of the new STEM programming that you've brought in. But what I remember is what I asked my son this morning about what he remembers about you. And that is that first time that you showed up in his elementary school lunchroom and had lunch with him some of his friends. So thank you for caring for the students individually. Thank you for knowing their names. Thank you for knowing the names of all the staff that you interact with. Thank you for sending all those letters, handwritten, every time you met with a teacher or a student. Thank you for celebrating all the successes that our students have had over time, both academically, athletically, and artistically. Thank you for allowing the staff to grow and fly and become leaders in the state and in the nation. Thank you for being you. You deserve every minute of this well-deserved retirement. Imagine all the lives that you have touched, but now go and spend that time with your grandbabies and your wife and your children and enjoy all that life has to offer. We will miss you. Aloha. Thank you, Dr. Bob.